So, I'm in Queens, New York, but not for too long. As you see, that bridge over there, the red bridge, is a Pulaski bridge. And if I cross that bridge, and the other side is Brooklyn, specifically Greenpoint, which is the northernmost neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. So I made a video there a couple of years ago without knowing much about it, but I've been to the neighborhood a couple of times, and I'm a little bit more familiar with the neighborhood. So a couple of years later, I'm gonna do another walking video around here to show you guys what's happening in that neighborhood. It's really cool, it's super underrated, like a little local vibe, you know. Also they call it also like Little Pollen because it's one of the highest polished communities right here in New York City. And there's a lot happening, a lot of developments going on, a lot of cool spots. So as you see, I'm gonna be crossing this bridge over here. We're gonna get some nice views of the borderline of Greenpoint and Long Island City and Queens. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. So without further ado, join me. Take another interesting thing that I wanna show you. I'm gonna be crossing this bridge. But this is the highway here, I think it's 495, also the Long Island Expressway, and it will take you underneath the Queens Midtown Tunnel. So it passes under the water, the East River, and you end up in Manhattan. So yeah, this is a really busy uh, highway right here, you know, a lot of traffic, so I think it's better to do it all within the train. But now let's make it to Pulaski Bridge, we're going to get some pretty cool shots over there. And then we're going to start making it deeper into Greenpoint neighborhood. So this is Long Island City, Queens, you can see a lot of developments going on. But I make it right here and I'm making my way to Pulaski Bridge. And the cool thing, they got a separated lane for the bike lane and this is the pedestrian. So we'll take you all the way to Brooklyn. You see how they develop all these high-rise buildings. And that is what's happening also like in some parts of Greenpoint. They're developing like some really high condos that kind of collide with Long Island City. But I haven't been yet to that new developed part, so I'm probably gonna take advantage and explore it right now to see what's going on. Dude, I'm not sure how much you can see because of the sun hitting. It's not even three o'clock yet. <laughs> but this is the highway that takes to the Queens Midtown Tunnel. And at the end over there, I don't know if you can see it, that's the Empire State Building. Let me see if I can get a close up. There you go, a better view and they got the New York State Trooper. So let's walk it ahead. This is really, really local over here. And I love this area a lot. Like I love crossing this bridge. A little bit more here, we're gonna get some nice views. So stay tuned. So here you can see, this is the river that divides Queens and Brooklyn. Queens over here, you can see part of Midtown Manhattan. And then this is Brooklyn Greenpoint with high-rise buildings. Then, the, then there's gonna be some stairs underneath and I'm gonna make it deep into the neighborhood. I'm gonna stand over here in the corner to give you some good shots of what's happening. Like a little underrated view over here. There's a highway next to me and I'm officially in Brooklyn, Greenpoint. So now I'm gonna find the stairs to go down and then start touring around the awesome neighborhood. So you got the bridge that keeps going down. But over here we got like a stairs. And we're gonna go down and look over here you get some nice shot. That's actually Queens. But let's go down. Wow, the stairs are really steep down. The one thing that I mentioned in some of my previous videos is that I'm scared of heights but I discovered all these hidden gems. So now I'm right here in the neighborhood and I'm gonna make it to a little marina that that's literally the ending of Brooklyn. And I wanna show you a little bit of the canal that connects, that divides actually Brooklyn and Queens. You know, and then we're gonna start making it to the new developed areas where the high rise buildings are. To see what's going on and then I'll show you Manhattan Avenue, which is one of the main streets right here in Greenpoint and probably Nassau Avenue. And then we wrap up the video. So I don't know how much you can see, but a lot has changed. There's a lot of buildings that are still building and some of these buildings over here that were not here. And over here is pretty plain, but once you go to the other side, you'll see some action happening. But let's make it to my right so I can show you the little canal that's happening over here. Like a little ending and then we start exploring Greenpoint. And this over here is a little tiny park that people can chill and hang out. And right now I'm standing like in the northern part of Brooklyn, the northern tip. And then you see the surrounding the buildings of Long Island City in Queens. Even that over there is Long Island City. You got to even see the Empire State Building in the back. And then this is a canal. I don't think it's uh, clean as water, but nothing crazy either. You have a different vibe of what's going on. I can see Vernon Boulevard ahead over there too. So, so I'm literally standing in the ending or probably the beginning of Brooklyn. And Brooklyn is a really massive borough and the most populous borough in New York City. But now let's start making it to the other areas where they're developing the high-rise condos to see what's going on. I don't think I've ever been in that part yet. Place here, Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory. 
So it's like it's buildings all developed, and I like like this cobblestones in the sidewalk. It look pretty cool, and this might be like a couple of condos. But let me just make it ahead and see what can I find. You know, here you can see what I'm talking about. This building, they were not here. They literally developed them. And the ones you see in the back is actually queen, so wow. Surrounded by high-rise condos. Ahead of me, they got two. There's another one over there. Last time I remember, the only tall building we had in Greenpoint was this building over here. Now look, they developed all of these buildings. And then another cool thing is, Greenpoint also is served by the New York City Ferry, which is one of my favorite ways to commute around. So the ferry is over that way. And then to get here, the train, the subway line is the G train, which I've never taken it, but yeah. That's another interesting way to get around. But now let's start making it around Manhattan Avenue so you can see what it looks like, the stores and some of the architectures throughout some of the streets. This is Manhattan Avenue and this side is pretty quiet, but I figure if I go a couple of blocks ahead, you're gonna start seeing some activity going on, you know, a couple of stores, a lot of shops and restaurants going on, you know. And the thing about this is kind of gives it like a vibe of a small town, even though it's in the city, you know. And then another interesting thing about this neighborhood, especially this street here, Manhattan Avenue, it kind of resembles a little bit of Central Avenue and Jersey City Heights. So I don't know, I guess it's like this little brother neighborhood in another state. But yeah, well, here's just regular apartments, but when, you, when we go ahead, you're gonna see what's happening. And then over here with the old architecture developing this high-rise condo right here. So I'm not sure if it's one of those apartments that you could find in New York City house in Connect. But then like two blocks ahead, I'm starting to see some shops, you know, a lot of pastry shops. You know, here you can see some interesting things happening. Got a restaurant, a shop right here. This is like a secondhand shop. So I guess they sell things that are used and people just get rid of them or they sell them for a good price, you know, if the product is still good. And then you can see they develop with the old buildings, they develop like this little tall building. It's good to have like new buildings, but it doesn't blend in well with the old architecture, so. And then they got like some lights, so I guess in the nighttime, they lit up the lights over here in this neighborhood. It gives it like a nice vibe. It's still the holidays, but it's over now, so. Making a detour from Manhattan Avenue to show you some of the regular streets right here. Once you get off of the main street, I want to show you how nice the architecture gets. Like the apartment complex are pretty nice. This one looks like they develop it. And this is not even like the nicest streets. Some of the streets that you go ahead in the hills are even nicer. But totally worth to check it out. I like this building over here. And in the summer or in the fall season, it's even nice when you got the leaves on the trees. Now let's just, let's make it back to Manhattan Avenue and keep exploring the neighborhood. As you can see, it's served by the G train, which I have yet to take this G train. Maybe I'll take it here more, heading towards downtown Brooklyn. This is Greenpoint Station right here. It goes all the way to Court Square in Long Island City. And then I think it goes, I forgot what part of Brooklyn it'll take you. You can see more action over here. Here they got a taco truck. So even here you can get food truck and then the architecture gets um, nicer once you keep walking a little forward. You can see some of the regular streets. Then they got a beautiful mural right here. But there's one in specific that's really cool, which is, I think it's a Greenpoint Deli. It might be ahead. There's a church over there. And then you see the nice architecture of this building over here with some business in the first floor. So my second detour of the day, another street, Kent Street. Okay, there are some nice architecture over here. That reminds me of some neighborhoods in Hoboken and Jersey City that I want to show you. We got a, a nice apartment complex, a couple of brownstones. Then you got a church right here. Then the other side is pretty nice too. So yeah, it's a neighborhood, you know. A lot of people, they focus on Williamsburg, which is a neighbor, the neighboring section close to this one. But this one over here is worth to explore. The cool thing is that the street is pretty peaceful and quiet. And they got, of course, you know, beautiful architecture. Even the doors are pretty interesting. 360 view of what's going on, even the church. 
And I think in terms of brownstones, Brooklyn is kind of the king of that right here in New York City. Even though they got a lot of those in Manhattan, like Harlem, West Village, but I think Brooklyn, around here, some parts of Williamsburg, Park Slope, um, also Sunset Park, a lot of neighborhoods, they have them. Bed-Stuy too. But yeah, getting distracted with this really beautiful street right here. But let's make it back again to Manhattan Avenue and keep exploring more deep down. And we're back in Manhattan Avenue, we got Market, another cool thing, they got a lot of groceries, shops over here. So you don't really need like those huge chain supermarkets. They also got their own version of the local. They also got a couple of chain fast food joints across the street. But they got a ton of local restaurants here, and small business that you can support. That I think is really good. And then ahead of me is Greenpoint Avenue. This is where you're gonna get some of the uh, shots when you Google the neighborhood. Especially this deli over here. It looks like a normal deli, Greenpoint Deli. But when I cross the street, I'll show you what's happening on the other side. And this is it, it has like a mural. And then you got the main avenue, which is really cool. So this is what makes it pretty unique. The Manhattan Avenue keeps going. Another thing when you Google this neighborhood, this is the massive church that pops up. Beautiful church. But if I walk around the street to my right, and you go a little bit down, you're gonna see a nice view of the church. This is Milton Street, so let's walk down here for a little bit so you can get a good shot of what's going on. And even down here, you got the beautiful houses. A beautiful apartment complex right here. In the middle of the street, but let me show you what's happening. And then here you get a full view of the church, which is pretty nice and pretty beautiful, you know. Yeah, the way how it's designed, it looks like those European churches, I don't know, like something different. But it's gorgeous. So before I continue my trek, I'm gonna walk all the way down, because it's like a little local park. I'm not sure if I've been there, maybe I've been, and there might be some views of the city ahead. But yeah, I think this is another neighborhood that would be good to be covered and bike, but it's a pleasant day to walk, you know, it's not brutally cold today, so tree over here blocking me. It's not brutally cold, so I think it's really comfortable to walk. Gonna make it to the park, and then we continue heading back towards Manhattan Avenue and party go by Nassau Avenue. And even the street is nice. Look, it's like they got their front patio right here. The main entrance, and then you got the beautiful architecture. Wow. Kind of feels like you're somewhere else. So I made it towards the end of Greenpoint Avenue. I'm not sure if this park is new or they develop it, but Nothing crazy, you see some condos, but if you go over that way, you get the view of Manhattan skyline. So I'm gonna walk and show you guys a bit, and then we head back to the neighborhood to continue our walk. This is like really local over here. Look at the sunset, lower Manhattan, even some parts of Brooklyn you can see over here. Then Midtown Manhattan is over that way, which is really cool. Let's see if I can make it to this pier over here. And they got a mural like in this warehouse of a female laying down, so. It's kind of like a little hipster neighborhood on this side. Oh, wow, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's really windy here and I'm getting a little bit scared of floating in the water, but wow. This is what you get right here, the view of the entire Manhattan. So I was trying to make it all the way to the end, but it was so windy and I was getting a little bit paranoid of the wind, so I'm just going to turn back, but you have an idea. Maybe in the summer I'll do it, I'll walk all the way to the end and get that vibe. And I gotta tell you, I can't really feel my hands, it's getting a little bit cold out here. But I gotta continue up with the video, but there you have an idea of what's going on. So I gotta say, the closer I get to the water, the colder it is. It was really freezing over that way, but now I'm back in Greenpoint Avenue. And you can see over here, it's pretty beautiful. You know, some nice apartment complex. I don't think I ever walked this whole trench to the end of that park. That's like a little hidden park over there. See, if you go at the end, you get that view of Manhattan and you got that marina that goes to the end. But like I say, it's cold and it's windy. So I think I'm gonna have to leave that for the summertime. When it's brutally hot, I think that would be really good for me to walk in that pier over there, surrounded by the water, by the East River. But look at this. Beautiful style of architecture. Reminds me of some other neighborhoods. So this neighborhood has different varieties of architecture and looks which is really cool and super underrated, but a really nice neighborhood. So back in Manhattan Avenue, we already passed this church. 
but we made a detour. But I think if we continue going ahead, it is where it's going to get pretty interesting too. Maybe a little bit more busier. But yeah, so far, you know, I don't hang out here pretty often, but it's always impressive every time I come here, like I find something pretty good. And like I say, New York has tons and tons of neighborhoods. I don't know what's the hype about people sticking around Midtown Manhattan, because you go outside and you get like this real feel of New York, like a local vibe. You could get peace of quiet, you could get a little bit of everything, like some mister. And I gotta say, over here it gets even nicer, I'm gonna show you in a bit. And this is the area that I think it resembles a little bit of Central Avenue in Jersey City Heights, which I covered that neighborhood like two times. And this is a really underrated neighborhood too. You know, literally like similar architecture, similar store vibes. Got a couple of restaurants, shops over here on the first floor. Also, like I said, it got a lot of food markets, like this one over here fresh fruits and vegetables. So like I say, you really don't need a chain supermarket because it got little markets over here. Now, as you can see, it keeps going Manhattan Avenue. And it's much more peaceful over here around this area. So while uh, a lot of people focus on Williamsburg, I think this neighborhood right here, Greenpoint, is worth it for you to give it a chance and walk around so you can see like a real culture vibe. Because Williamsburg changed a lot, but there's another part of Williamsburg that still maintains like its local tradition around Graham Avenue, which is also called Avenida Puerto Rico. But this over here is really, really cool and pretty authentic. So I think I might be approaching Nassau Avenue, and then one way it would take you to Williamsburg, then the other side, I think it's just like a regular street. Ahead of me, I see Bedford Avenue, which is it goes straight into Williamsburg, and that's like the main street. And there's a park over there, and once you hit the park, I think it's McCarran Park, that's where the Williamsburg. So, you know, another neighborhood that's really cool here in Brooklyn. This is Bedford Avenue over here. You detour over that way, and it takes you all the way to Williamsburg. A really cool neighborhood. I see some interesting things ahead. This is kind of like a little pedestrian area. We go over this way, it gets, uh, Pretty cool too, and then this is Nassau Street, so I'll probably walk a block or two to see what's going on. This is Nassau, and pretty developed. They got like a bus lane, you know, some nice looking buildings, and they got like this decoration that I guess in the nighttime it lights up. So yes, yeah, really cool couple of spots. I guess in the nighttime it must be a cool neighborhood to hang out, so pretty cool so far, you know. I haven't explored this part of Greenpoint, but so far I'm liking it. Pretty nice. And I made a detour in one of those regular streets in this area here is pretty awesome. Wow. It also looks a little bit like Williamsburg. Of course, because it's bordering the neighborhood, but yeah. This is where you get like a lot of nice apartment complex like this, you know. Pretty nice, you know, and like I say, Greenpoint is really cool and much more chiller than Williamsburg or any other neighborhoods in Brooklyn. Super underrated neighborhood. I think the only thing that makes it a little bit different is that the G train comes here and the D train, the G train runs from Brooklyn to Queens, so it doesn't go through Manhattan. So you, you have to figure out some connections. But other than that, you know, really cool. I'm loving it here so far. So this over here is Bedford Street. And this is kind of like a little tiny plaza they got here with a couple of selling and then the park is right across the street. So once you make it on the other side, that's Williamsburg right there, the ending of it. So. So this is Williamsburg and Greenpoint is on the other side. So I think I already covered pretty much enough of the neighborhood, you know. It was really good for me to explore around here and see what the neighborhood has to offer, you know, a hidden gem. Like I always love to do, you know, explore a lot of cool neighborhoods in New York City. So that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.